They do head for the ring, and they're right. They've got Jeff Jarrett coming in here. Are they going to make an example out of him? I don't know about that. That remains to be seen because he has Danny Davis in his corner. This one should be a good one. Tag team action. Main event action on the USWA right here today. Yeah, not only is only the USWA, but almost anywhere around. A great bout. Jeff Jarrett and Danny Davis against Brian Christopher and Scotty Flamingo. This one worth the price of a mission anyway, let me tell you. Jeff, holder of the Southern Heavyweight Belt. Danny Davis, holder of the USWA Middleweight Belt. Couple of champions in there, non-title match, of course. This is tag team action. Those are both single belts. Scotty Flamingo, he has quite a reputation, there's no doubt about it. And Brian Christopher has made his own reputation. You know him well, especially from the way he's been out here running that mouth ever since uh, he decided to go as a single wrestler some time ago when he broke up yeah. his team called the New Kids. All right, well, the uh, Mutual Admiration Society continues over in the corner. Scotty says, you start, you should start. And Brian says, no, you should. Oh, okay, we're well, gonna odd man out here. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, what do you do? Paper, scissors, and all that sort of thing. Referee finally tires of all of that and said, ring the bell, here we go. Danny Davis starts against Brian Christopher. He got some talent in the wrestling ring here today, fans. Here we go with expiration of time action. Uh, we're underway with it. At ringside, USWA wrestling action to the expiration of time. This should be a good one. Christopher and Flamingo against Jared and Davis. We're underway. Nightman, Danny Davis stands in and Oh, look at Christopher over there insulting Jeff Jarrett on the way by and that goofy little laugh. The master of distraction. I tell you <laughs> what, he can distract anybody at least for a while. Oh, yeah. But, well, apparently not distracting Danny Davis too much who pushes him right back in the corner, pulls that right hand back but then thinks better of it. He did not hit him with a fist. Referee says, hey, Danny, don't use the fist. And Danny says, you saw it, did not use it that time. Oh, Christopher, look at this. Yeah, back Stanley Davis up against the turnbuckles. Christopher draws back to give him a clean break. Oh. And nails it. Boy, let me tell you. Boy, Reversal here, though. Oh, Christopher hangs on and jumps over the top rope. Oh, yeah, he and Flamingo celebrating there after Danny Davis whipped him into the turnbuckle, and Christopher hanged on, flipped over, and went outside on the apron there. Danny Davis just kind of watching all of this. I mean, Danny's a veteran. He's been all over the world, the nightmare. Yeah. He's seen them all, including Brian Christopher, and here's Scotty Flamingo. Scotty Flamingo tangling up a nightmare, Danny Davis. Davis whoops him in. Flamingo goes under, comes back. Yeah, I get this. Celebration again over in the corner with Brian Christopher and Scotty Flamingo. You would think they had just won the world tag yeah. titles the way they're celebrating here, and the match is still going on. Yeah, just one good move, and boy, these guys are eating it up, too. Jeff and, uh, and Danny are kind of watching them like, you know, what's with these guys here? They <laughs> got a match, and they're not paying attention. Flamingo backs Davis up against the turnbuckles. Oh, big shoulder on Nightman Danny Davis. That corner has not been kind to Danny Davis as he's been sabotaged by both Scotty Flamingo and Brian Christopher. All right, Scotty leaps over the rope, and now they celebrate again. No, he's not embarrassed. He's not embarrassed. Brian is claiming that embarrasses Danny Davis. That doesn't embarrass him at all. He's just standing there in amazement, wondering yeah. why you guys don't just climb back in there. <laughs> so great, this first. Well, I've seen some great wrestling teams in my time in this business, let me tell you. Yeah, one match doesn't make a great team. You gotta prove yourself in the ring, and so far, so far, you haven't done it. Not a head, because it's been tagging in and out and running in and out for Christopher and Flamingo. Tag again, and Christopher comes off the ropes on Danny's arm. Twisting that left arm of Nightmare Danny Davis. Slams down with a big elbow on Danny. Tag Flamingo. Scotty Flamingo comes in. 
Ah, it pulls the hair of Danny Davis after complaining that Danny pulled his hair. Danny whips him in. Flamingo goes over. Goes over both of them again. And that comes back. And, oh. Oh, oh, my, my God. I thought Danny had him outsmarted at that. Hey, he did. <laughs> Look at that. Let him celebrate and then crunch those noggins together. Ah, double drop kick from Jared and Davis. And there's Flamingo out on a concrete floor wondering what in the world is going on. Now it's frustration, not celebration. In the corner of Brian Christopher and Scotty Flamingo, they're <laughs> wondering around what happened. It's like there was a buzzsaw in here. Went to work on the team. Greatest team ever, Humpert. <laughs> yeah, he said. Yes. Man, <laughs> cry baby. You're, yeah. You're, yeah, cry baby. Cry baby is what the crowd is yelling. Christopher attacks Flamingo. And oh, Flamingo look out. Hangs on to Danny Davis. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> Christopher goes flying over the top rope. Flamingo goes over, and uh, it had been a good day at all for Flamingo and Christopher as a team. They both went over the top rope. Brian Christopher's uh, momentum carried him over, and then I think Scotty Flamingo just pretty well flipped himself over the top rope. But you watch. You watch Christopher get in there and try to claim that he was thrown over the top rope. Now, if you throw your opponent over the top rope, that's a disqualification right there. That did not happen there. No, it, it didn't. It, oh, you won't. That's it. Now I'm mad. Oh, boy. He's mad, fans.